Okay, so I'm at the high school. They've got this stuff here. It's from their uh, their cutting machine, their plasma machines that use put stuff out. So the log was uh, number one. So I picked this up from my truck, and I'm supposed to pick up um, hopefully the bathtub today. So uh, we'll see if it's not frozen in the ground. So they had this, and then they had a couple chunks of aluminum. I'm going to toss this on. So. Okay, so I got the cast iron tub, as you can see. I couldn't film it because it was at a lady's house and she was there and she came out and she didn't want to uh, be filmed. So I have to abide by people's, you know, wishes and stuff. So please understand, it is on my truck. I'm back to the house. Uh, I threw on my number one steel and there's more at the front. Uh, I'm going to uh, take the cast iron tub in and that. The cast iron tub just goes a shred, which is... Uh, just just normal steel and then I've got my number one which is my rims and my other small stuff that I even from the high school and of course I put my lift on because I was by myself and I wasn't because my shoulder still hurts so I put my lift on this morning and it helps it did it loaded it like the lady's like how did you, are you gonna load it? I'm like you just watch me lady I said and she was impressed but I I couldn't uh, I couldn't film I'm sorry but uh, that's the way it happens sometimes and a lot of times I can't do that when I'm at people's houses um, People get paranoid. They think that you're going to come back because you're filming. They think you're going to break in or you're going to steal something. And that's not me. I don't do that. But it's hard when you're trying to make a, a video. So there's some more. I'm going to little maybe a little more on here. We'll look around. I've got some more probably laying around. Because we already took one load of stuff in. So I'm going to see what else I've got laying around that's not frozen in still. There is still some spots here that got ice on them. So, but yeah, there's the lift. So just so you can get a look at it, it goes right in the uh, thing. I love it. I've had it now for a while. Uh, since I hurt my shoulder and stuff, it's the best thing I've ever had. But there you go. And I still got one more tub to pick up. I'm going to try and do it on the weekend. Hopefully not on Saturday on my birthday. But if the lady wants it done then, that's when I'll be doing it. Because my niece comes back from her uh, work um, on Friday. So she's done. And then uh, she usually doesn't work on the weekends. She's off on weekends. So I'll probably get her to give me a hand if I can. If she... Uh, Feels up to it, and Saturday's my birthday, so I'm probably not going to try and do it on Saturday. Because I got to haul it out of the basement for this lady. Again, I'm going to try and film, but if I can't, please understand. Uh, people don't want you, you know, filming in their houses, and they don't want you to film, you know, around their house and stuff. Because they get, they think that you're going to come back and do something, and it's just the way life is. So please understand. Okay, so I made the uh, scrap here, as you can see. I'm just going to throw it off right here. I got my thing down. I'll kick it off. I'll get up on the truck there and do that. And as you can see, people just brought some other shit in. All right, well, there it is. Let me see if I can kick it off. Yes, there she goes. One more. There she is. Whew, she's heavy. So all I got left is the uh, number one. It's a skids. Four skids. So anyhow, I gotta load these so I can take them home. We're still burning wood, even if I don't burn these this year, or well, this winter right now, I can always burn them when the oncoming winter comes on again. So I'll haul them home, get them cut up, haul them up, whatever. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna get these loaded. Okay, as you see, it's all loaded. I wasn't gonna show you me loading it. It's very boring. I picked the skids up and put them on the truck. That's how easy it is. There they are, wasn't a full load, so I just leaned them forward. I didn't even get on the truck. I just flipped them over the side, and I left this one behind because I'm not lifting that up on my truck and getting a hernia. So anyhow, there it is. I put a strap on it, hold it down, so we're good. Pull the plastic off. All right, so there it is. I'm done. Okay, so here's that load I took in. Uh, this was just that tub. I just wanted to show you what that one cast iron tub weighed. It weighs 260 pounds, so it was $180, a metric ton, 21, 24 just for that. So then I had some auto cast, which is auto, like drums, rotors, whatever you want to call them. They're $220, a metric ton. <clears throat> I think there was like maybe six. It was up there by the uh, by the shop there at the front. That was 1078. And the last of it was the rims, my short steel, all that stuff, and it was again 220. It's what they call number one steel or prepared steel. Uh, depending on what yard you go to and again, it's metric ton at this yard. It's not by the ton. It's metric ton metric ton is 2200 pounds not 2000 pounds and of course I had 400 pounds of it uh, so it came to 3982 so 
that was a grand total of 71.85 for just that loose bit of stuff that I picked off the ground that wasn't frozen in the ground. So as now the ground is starting to get softer, I will be able to throw a lot more on my trucks. So, but there it is. It's a small payday, but hey, I'll take it. There you go. All right. Okay. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed my video, give me a thumbs up.